If you're looking for the cheapest coins in Madden 23, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable. And make sure to use code WOLF for 3% off. Link is in the description. All right, today we're going to be in the Doll 3 2 out of the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook. Now, the full scheme breakdown, which people are using and which I use in my gameplays religiously. Trust me, I need it in my gameplays to go on high win streaks. The full scheme is in the members area, as well as the 4-6, the tight offset tight end, and the wild trio week. Defense and offense with more to come real soon. So make sure if you're a member, pay attention to the noties, man, because I'm going to drop something for you guys here in a little bit. Now, the Doll 3-2, show you guys how to properly run the man defense uh, variations because man defense is the OP thing. It slows down a lot of the routes, so if people are trying to cook you with, like, uh, sluggos, drags and stuff like that you could just cook these guys now what we want to do is in our personnel right here is to take out the linebackers and put safeties all right free safeties now if they run the ball chances are your safety is going to run slow however it's not always the case i've noticed that in my game plays when people do that uh they still run regular now the name of the play right here is the cover two man you can turn auto flip off for this one it's important because you're always going to want to use her the blitzer okay now We'll go ahead and go an empty base. We'll do inside cross. Now, the idea and the logic behind cover two man defense is that in stock, the defense plays underneath because they know they have deep half coverage. In the cover one, they play outside and over the top. So in cover two man situations, uh, if you run the play stock like this, you'll notice that a lot of the times these guys will try their best to play underneath. Now. It's very important that you see what you just saw right there because you saw the mesh concept, the dual drags coming across the field. So let's come to instant replay so I can show you guys what actually gets open with a stock cover two man. So these double drags right here, this guy wide open, and this guy wide open. So what we want to do, okay, is if we know it's going to be a pass and you want to take the chance of playing the underneath coverage, uh, what I want you to do is I'm going to press wire triangle left stick down to press. You can even try to bring this guy down. I don't know if he goes back to his position. No, he doesn't. He stays there. And then I want you to shade underneath wire triangle right stick down for underneath. Now, outside, inside, you can do inside, you can do outside. I'm just going to leave it stock. So press shade underneath. And I want my pass rush bonus. So I'm going to put QB contains out here and I'm going to stand right here. Okay. Right here to engage the contains. So if the quarterback moves, uh, we'll get that release. So right here, I want you guys to see what's happening now. Look at the drags with that adjustment now, okay? Now it's three-man pass rush, so be careful. What I see a lot of people do is they want to use the safeties. However, if you're going to use the safeties, you're going to need to shade over the top. You got no choice, okay? Because they will cook you on a street. You got Marquise Brown on the left side. So an instant replay, with that press and underneath adjustment, look how hard it was for the drags to get open. These guys are pretty much neck to neck. Now my user, I typically give up the drag and I'll go for the mid post, right? You see my user way up there. I will guard that. The deep half's got the outside routes. So it's all gravy. All you really have to worry about is the underneath routes. Now, if they want to throw corner routes, and I use the bunch formation, that way you guys can actually uh, uh, see it, right? You can see the plays developing really easy. It's not all cluttered with other formations. But let's try to go with, uh, let's see what they got in corner routes here. I don't know if they're good corner rounds. You have the dig curl read, which is something that you may be able to use. I don't really see nothing besides wide corner. Let's go ahead and flip the play. And we'll run cover two, man. Let's respot the ball, make it more realistic. And let's press shade underneath so you guys can see the effect of shading underneath on a corner route. So press shade underneath and let's watch the corner route. Now this is, I think it's the tight end running this right here. So he gets open. A is getting open. You could probably throw that. Uh, but chances are the deep path playing properly could cook that so what you can do is bring the deep halves over here like this and then you have to worry about the deep post however we you can pass commit if you know it's a pass by the way so we can come over here watch the middle anything but the corner route is getting open so what can you do okay you have different variations of man that you can run so what we can do is press shade over the top and outside right stick outside get us outside leverage but that doesn't always work let's just see okay it does work you see this the, the coverage now on the tight end i should have showed you guys uh, uh right before this now remember pass rush doesn't activate until the quarterback moves it's just the way it is in this game my bad my apologies uh let's get back to it i don't know what the hell's going on 
but you'll see that the pass rush doesn't activate unless the quarterback's moving, which in your case, you don't have to worry about because the quarterbacks are always moving. So instant replay. I don't know what the hell that was all about, but you see the shading over the top and outside now puts a clamp on this corner route. So you see the chess game with man defense. So remember, stock, it's underneath inside. If you think they're going to throw a corner route, you press, shade over the top, and then shade outside. And then I'll QB contain. I'll go ahead and put myself on the blue because I'll be watching a deep blue. And let's just try to run around with the quarterback and see what we get open. Boom. Try to throw this corner route. Everything is pretty much boxed up. Simple, man. This man defense is crazy. Now you can press shade over the top and then put these guys in their curl flats, changing your zone draft. See, that's one thing I haven't used a lot of in Madden 23 because of man defense is my zone drops. However, if I need to zone out a 3-3, I will. I'll zone out of that, use zone drops, and then do it accordingly. Uh, if I know they need a lot of yards, I'll change my zone drops. If I feel like I'm gonna run cover three, I try to stay away from cover three as much as possible because to me personally, it's the worst defense in the game. So you can shade over the top and then you can shade inside, okay? Shade inside to try to take the slants away. And then you'll have your curl flat. I don't know if this guy's because not because since we don't have zone drops, uh, we don't know if he's gonna play it properly. Let me get off of him, come down to the line. And then let's try to throw this corner out on this curl flat right here. He's actually in position to make a play. So let's go ahead and instant replay to see what the vibes are with any inside route that came over the middle of the field. We shaded inside. We have an inside route here, which the guy's letting pretty much, well, actually they're not inside routes, they're technically drag routes. Let's put some slants out there to see what, see what's going on. So let's go ahead and slant RB, or you know what, slant Brown, flat RB, leave the corner out there like this. And let's go ahead and slant Connor, Connor like this. Okay, same thing. We're gonna uh, press, shade inside, put this guy on a curl flat, change your zone drops accordingly. Now, what I typically do with this guy is I'll put him on the side of, well, it's actually, he should be on the left side of the deep pass. So you gotta be careful, man, you gotta know who to respect and you can respect by backing off of them uh, but for the most part let's just see what gets open we're going to shade over the top and inside since we're going to have outside coverage and let's just see what happens on defense let's qb contain boom x gets wide open now this is where your user is crucial because if they're not playing it properly you're going to get cooked so if they're trying to hit you with slants you can shade you can press shade underneath like this and let the play rock out and let's just see what the slants do now let's go ahead and streak everybody boom this guy's playing underneath but he's still getting cooked like i said you have to know so what can you do to stop that slant well you don't need to run cover two man defense what we're going to talk about in the next video is the almighty cover one robert press and this defense right here pretty much shuts everything down in the game son however cover two man is still very beneficial to stop streaks over the top and stuff like that so blending these in together is going to make you a better madden player i promise remember your cover two man blitz you want to press shade underneath to stop the drags over the top outside to stop the corner outs everything else we're going to run with cover one robber press and this is the cheating defense in the game if you've been coming across it you know exactly what i mean so stay tuned for tomorrow's videos because this is the defense we're going to talk about love you guys man